I gotta go. I gotta run. Joel's chasing me. I'm only in iron. I can't survive this. Jamie. Jamie, I see your yeah? towel. Can you let me in? I'm not gonna rape you. Towel. Just let me in. Please. Well, I... Why? Because I'm getting chased. This me? guy's a diamond. He's catching up. Yeah, Please. But, hurry, hurry, hurry. But he's he's not chasing me. <laughs> Jamie, he's chasing me. I gotta get inside. He's gonna kill no, me. Uh, but I, I have I nothing but iron. Uh, hurry, hurry, he's here. I to, I'll let you on my YouTube channel. To, Just let me in. Hit the button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah, all right, fine. Thank you. Okay, wait. Uh, turn it off, turn it off. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Ah! <laughs> Jamie, thank you so much. <laughs> I would have definitely died. Really appreciate yeah. it. How did you build that bridge? That's awesome. Well... Hey, this is Ronnie Go Boom, and I'm here with Rails to Revolution. These guys are awesome, and they have a new invention to show us. And here's how it works right here. Oh my gosh, that's Sweet. perfect. Joel was jumping up and down. So Joel and Jamie are going to show me so how to build it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, okay, so if the, the materials we'll need, first off, will be any solid block. In this case, we're using stone. Uh, furnaces, as they don't get pulled by slime blocks, slime blocks, sticky pistons, redstone dust, redstone repeaters, and levers or any activation source. So, as usual, as is standard on our channel, I will be doing the structure and I'll be doing the redstone. So, we'll start with your solid block, and you're going to make a corner piece, like so. Then, sort of nestled in that, you're going to go three along with your sticky pistons. And on top of that, you're going to put slime blocks. Now, you're going to go one, two, three, one up in the middle one up again, one to the left, and two to the right. Now up here on the diagonal from your solid block you're going to put two furnaces, one there, and one there, and then adjacent to those your solid blocks. You're going to remember to shift click so that you don't enter the furnaces when you're trying to put those down. Now on the other side over here you put your furnaces against the base block on the slime blocks, then solid blocks adjacent to that and down diagonally to each side. Now directly under here you're going to break two blocks. That's a little bit of a difficult shot, but Ronnie, I'm sure you can get that. Now, on the tops, you're going to put stone on each end, and then furnaces all along each side, like so. Once again, these don't get pulled by the slime blocks. That's why they're significant. Then underneath, touching the stone, or your solid block, you're going to put the same block. Then to the left of that, adjacent, you put your furnace. And on the other side, equidistant from the center slime block, another furnace. Then, this bit's a little bit tricky, but just watch. If you put one there, diagonally, one furnace, and on the other side, in the same direction, diagonally, there. That's very important so that the lava doesn't flow through, or whatever water you have. Then, last thing on the very end, is this is the first block. This is important that you only put this on the first tile, as this is a tileable design. You put your st solid block there, and if this was also the last tile, you would put it here on this end. But I think we're going to make two tiles this time. So that's that. So Joel, if you'd like to take over the redstone. Yep, sure. Thanks for the introduction, Jamie. Okay. So first of all, you want to come over just down over here. Where is... Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, just get your redstone. And this is where it will get activated. So we can just chuck our lever right here. But obviously you can chuck it wherever you want. It can come from wherever. But yep, two pieces of redstone here. Get your redstone repeaters. Put one over here on a delay of two. And you want to come up onto this square. Um, in a sort of L shape, you want to put your redstone there and... Right in the corner, just put your repeater facing that way on a delay of two again. Now come down over here. You want to extend your redstone to the floor and put a redstone repeater coming from it on a delay of four. And get your redstone, come over to this part. And you kind of need to go into the hole. Hope you can see this. Um, put your redstone and then the redstone repeater on a delay of two. So there, if you can get the angle. And coming around on the other side where it picks up, get your redstone to just go over this little triangle and importantly onto this furnace over here and then lastly just get your repeater chuck it right here on a delay of two and as we can see if we just hit the redstone rep i mean sorry the lever comes up all the way three blocks hit it again comes down three blocks there we go excellent we go. let's see that one more time go up and down sure okay Good job. up nice down Perfect. So I think we will make a second tile just to show. So what's important about this design 
to understand is that you can make it as long as you like. It's just built into these sections here. Yep. And so what we are going to do is make two, but you can make three, you can make four, you, can, you know, you can, you get the point. You can make whatever you want. So to make a tile after this one, you're going to go two spaces from this piston here. You go one, two, and then put your solid block here and start with the corner piece again. You're then going to put your sticky pistons. You can sort of see where this is going. Slime blocks. Okay, and so what's important to understand is that this, because this is our last tile, we're going to put an extra solid block adjacent to our solid block right here. This is going to stop the flow of lava from coming into your contraption and breaking everything. However, if you're going to make, say, three or four, you'd leave that space as it is, continue with your tiles, and then on the last one, do that. Joel, if you'd like to just whack on the redstone for that. Yep. All right, as you can see, we got all the redstone hooked up all over again. All you need to do to connect them is, honestly, it's so simple. Get your redstone, two blocks, connect them like that. Easy, done. As you can see, we can chuck the lever again, watch the magic unfold, and ta-da. Perfect. So, yep, that's how to build it. Yeah, and, uh, that's it. Any, any words, any last... Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is awesome. Plugs. Great tutorial. So much better than the normal tutorials I have on my channel. Normally, I just explain no. how something works and no. give the map download. <laughs> oh, well, it's a pleasure being here. That's it. Yeah, yeah that, that's it. That's Yeah. Thanks for having us on your channel. It's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so yeah. much for, for the invention and for building it. That was fun. Awesome. Great. All right. Well, that's us. <laughs> Guess we hope to see you maybe on some of our videos. Awesome! Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you really like this trap. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And subscribe to Rails to Revolution. These guys are awesome. It was so fun working with you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. It was awesome. It's quite alright. Thank you very much. It was really, really great working with you. Yeah, thanks for having us. You were great and make to work sure, with you. Oh, thank you. It was awesome working with you guys. Make sure you check out the video that I posted on their channel, or we worked on together on their channel. I have a trap video over there, and it turned out really well. <laughs>